And I don't want to read the whole chapter because it is the whole chapter where he is praying to his father. And he is praying for his disciples. And he is praying for you. And he is praying for me. How do we know that? Because there was a verse where he said, Father, I not only pray for these that you have given me, these disciples that are here, but I pray for everyone, for all of those that through their word will believe. And the disciples went out praying, preaching the word of God. And they reached others. And throughout the centuries, other men and women of God kept going with the word of God and preaching the word of God. And now the word of God came to us. And now we follow the Lord and we are servants of God. And in John 17, 9, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ says, I ask on their behalf. I do not ask on behalf of the world, but of those whom you have given me, for they are yours. And all things that are mine are yours, and yours are mine. And I have been glorified in them. I am no longer in the world, and yet they themselves are in the world. And I come to you, Holy Father, keep them in your name, the name which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are. While I was with them, I was keeping them in your name, which you have given me. And I guarded them, and not one of them perished, but the son of perdition, so that the scripture would be fulfilled. The word of God will be fulfilled. Every time. Amen. Every time. Praise the Lord. There are prophecies in the word of God. Jesus said, you're either with me or you're against me. You're either lost or you're found. You're either in darkness or you're in the light. You're either saved or you're not. You're either a child of God or a child of the devil. You're either on one side or the other. You're either at the end of your life or when Jesus comes and takes us, you will either spend eternity in heaven with God or you will spend eternity in hell. But the word of God will be fulfilled. Amen. What side are you on? The Apostle Paul said, pray. Pray. There are some people that are not praying. And yet, there are so many problems going on in the homes. There are so many problems going on in the community, in the city, in the state, in the country. And people are still not praying. In Chronicles, the word of God says, if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear them from heaven. Then I will heal their land. But there are people that call themselves by God's name and they are not praying. Who are those people that are called by God's name? Word of God says in Acts chapter 11, verse 26, and the disciples were first called Christians in the city of Antioch. Christians, followers of Jesus Christ, carrying the name of Christ. The apostle Peter said, if you suffer for being a Christian, don't be ashamed that you carry that name. If my people that are called by my name, King Agrippa told the apostle Paul, by a little bit, you almost, you almost persuaded me to become a Christian. 